What is up, guys, gals, and all you awesome, awesome minions of different shapes and sizes? A moth there! Get away! No! Stop it! It's going for my eyes! I'm okay. I'm fine. Moths! Just, no! Where did you come from? <laughs> We're all good. We're playing Hawken on the PlayStation 4. <laughs> so, Hawken has actually been on the PC for quite a long time. It was this a mega, like, mech game that was really, really popular on the PC. But now they've actually brought it on console. And it was a game that initially I did a live stream for, but I felt like the controls, the whole thing with mouse and key. I may have just died there. I did get killed though. The the feeling of like mouse and keyboard just didn't feel very comfortable to me because there was all these different buttons you had to press because you got this kind of like interface and it was this thing where it tries to make you feel like you're in the cockpit by having all these little different like abilities and stuff that you can use in the mech. Like as you can see, X button uses your special ability, triangle uses another ability, circle uses another ability, then you've got your two different types of turrets. So it was this thing of having to juggle constantly and I always felt like the controller would actually have been a little bit better. Do you think? I thought it would look a little bit better. And it actually is. It's actually really fun playing this with a controller on the PlayStation 4. And now I'm just completely in love. It's this really, really cool thing where they've actually brought out free to play, like on the PC. You can do things like buy mechs with real money. You can do the whole thing with like add ons and skins and stuff. But all the mechs themselves and all their upgrades can actually be purchased through just standard playing the game. And you make loads of credits. Like I think I've played maybe about five matches now since this first match. And I was able to buy like two to three mechs which is really awesome not to spend a cent and it's just really fun especially because there's that whole team dynamic of all these different mechs being controlled by different players you may notice actually i got a really cool kill there you may notice that the performance is a little bit sluggish i've seen things like lag i've seen things like frame rate issues especially when you kill somebody like for some reason when you kill someone it like the screen jumps and freezes for a moment which is really unusual but this map is really cool too it was this thing of that hawk always had this really nice atmosphere this steampunkiness of it been all like rugged and dirty and post-apocalyptic and it just looks nice i just really like it i really like the mechs too they're not kind of like stylistic they're not all kind of pretty you know how like in anime mechs they're all like they look like they could be on the front cover of some kind of playboy magazine or something they're all shiny they're never damaged but in this they just look like hobos living them maybe hobo this actually might be a game about hobos we don't know if the pilots are actually hobos and they're having a hobo battle in the middle of a hobo kingdom and it's this thing of like it's the hobo battle of dominance and supremacy. <laughs> I'm not too sure. We're actually doing quite well here. Seven kills like, on our team, five and seven. I'm actually trying to learn all the buttons here, so I'm pressing all the buttons and being like, oh, so that's what that does and stuff. Like, I'm currently on this mech, which is your starter mech called the Assault, is you have the machine gun on the left and you have a rocket launcher on the right side, but the rocket launcher, which is actually kind of interesting, is you can fire it, but then at any time you can press the trigger again and it'll actually kind of like blow it up mid-air. There's another game that did that, but I can't remember what it was. I just got another kill there, but then died. I got shot in the butt cheeks. That seems to be something that happens to me in a lot of games. I'm always getting shot in the butt cheeks, like Call of Duty, love Call of Duty, love Black Ops 3, love Advanced Warfare, but always getting shot in the butt. There's always that thing in Call of Duty that you're always getting shot in the butt, and it's something that I love about Battlefield over Call of Duty, is that when Battlefield, one side, one versus one side, and in those kind of, these kind of games, it's not. You know, it seems like you're kind of randomly spawning around the outside of the map, and then you're kind of going in and you're getting ambushed. Never really liked that in games, and Hawkins seems to have this thing of, at the first it starts as two sides going against each other, like you see in Call of Duty, but then everyone kind of goes for each other. But another thing I really love is that when you're actually using the guns and stuff, you really feel that punch. As you can see with this machine gun, it's just like, duh, 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 duh. it's like a nail gun, and it's that thing of like, there's some really good sound kind of feedback to it. Really nice, really, really cool. And also the... Something that I thought I would not actually like is the clunkiness. Because obviously you're in these kind of mechs that are trudging along. They're not like... Again, they're not anime mechs. They're not fast-paced and stuff like that. They're actually kind of like you know, sluggish and things, and it's something that I appreciate, it's something that I like, how they actually stuck to their guns with showing that and making you feel like you're in these clunky mechs, because it's something that I had an issue with Battleborn, is that even though I like Battleborn, even though I haven't played Battleborn in so, so long, I do have some videos of Battleborn that I still want to upload of, you know, of all my um, favorite characters and stuff, but it's this thing of that... In this, it makes sense. While in Battleborn, the clunkiness just felt like it was a handicap, like it was an issue of the game itself. While in Hawken, it's this thing of that I really like that everybody feels like a tank. It's just really, really cool. Now, don't forget that there are different mechs in this game. You've got ones that are like heavy tank types with like sh blast shields and stuff, and they move really slowly like a slug. You have these ones, which are kind of like average and move at like a normal pace. And you even have these even faster ones that can like bunny hop all over the place, like crickets and things, which is really badass. I love that there's all these different types of 
mechs, and everyone's flying everywhere, and it's just, it's this awesome, amazing combat. But again, it's this thing of that, because it's just come out, like, I think it was like two, three days ago, maybe two days ago, there are some technical difficulties going on in the game. You may notice as well that the actual <laughs> aesthetics, the visuals, aren't as good as the PC version, which is surprising because Hawken, even though being a good-looking game, you'd think it'd actually be able to be handled by the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, but there's just this kind of, like... I don't know if it's like a, like a muddiness, there's like a muddiness in the textures and like it's just a little bit, it's just not as like shiny, not as sheeny as the PC version which is a goddamn pretty game, it's a really pretty game. There's just something about this one, I don't know what it is, maybe you can tell me what it is, is it just the environment? It's like the cockpit and stuff looks really really good and the character models do, but the environment there's just something about it, like this, it feels like it's on medium settings, you know like on PC and stuff. You just got another kill, 23 kills, 14 to the enemy team too, we're actually, we're actually steamrolling, we're actually doing pretty good. We looked in your Opinion though on Hawken in the comment section below. What do you think to it? Have you been playing on the PC? I know you can actually on PlayStation 4 and you're really glad that maybe it's come over because you're going to give it just as much love and stuff. That'd be kind of cool if you're actually into it already. Or are you not really into mech games? Are you more... I mean, this is the thing. It also kind of reminds me of Mech Warrior. Remember Mech Warrior? This is kind of like that kind of game that's showing love to Mech Warrior without having that like constant, like, complicated health system and systems you know in your mech it's just a little bit more straightforward and streamlined and but also giving you that kind of feeling that you are in the robot you know you don't have to feel like you're kind of like just playing call of duty but as a robot you're actually in a robot and they've made it feel like you're in a robot while also making it feel very very accessible. I really like that it's so, so accessible. Haven't tried the other modes yet. I've been very, very addicted to Team Deathmatch, and I'm going to be showing you all the modes. You've got co-op mode, you've got loads of stuff. I just died again. You see that little freeze then? That actually happens when you kill people too sometimes. It's so unusual. You may notice these little gold orbs. Those are actually your health packs. You can actually heal yourself too. Didn't know I could heal myself in this match, but it was one of these things that I was just going in, like, charging in head on and just whooping as much ass as possible. Ten seconds to go, and it seems we've actually taken this match, but I would love to know your opinionage on Hawk in the comment section below, as mentioned. Remember that we will be actually covering this game quite a bit because I'm having quite a lot of fun with it. And if you want to play with me, let me know, and maybe we could get a little bit of a match together. That's my robot. I look like a microwave with legs. <laughs> I like this bit too where you actually go into the kind of like score screen and it shows all the robots in your team and you can actually do taunts and stuff so you'll see some people like bowing down like a butler who may be called Alfred, I'm not too sure. There you go, look! <laughs> and then I'm there like pressing my buttons like, how can I do that? I can do that too, there you go. <laughs> but either way, it's been me Josh aka Noir Proxy bringing you some Hawk and I'll see you all next time. Ciao for now. Oh my god.